So hey guys, in this video, we are going to discuss the non-homogeneous differential equation in which we are going to deal with the type 1 of question where the system, the function will be given as what r is nothing but a system function, okay, function of x, it is given as k into e power ax. This will be the form we will be discussing in this question. That means on the RHS side, e power ax, k into e power ax, k is nothing but a constant. So you can see over here, 6 is nothing but k in this particular form of 6 e power 3x. So a is nothing but 3 and k is 6. So like that, we will be dealing the question. So how to proceed with the question? So the direct or we can say that how to identify the non-homogeneous equation or the, this type of question is very important. So the standard form you need to understand here is nothing but d square y by dx square plus dy by dx plus y is equal to what some function which is given over here okay and here p q okay that will be the constant values they will be giving so this form they will give now what is the meaning of d square y by dx square it basically means y double dash now y double dash basically means what d square y by second order differential equation and y dash is nothing but what the first order differential equation which is dy by dx and rest all remains the same okay so in the question you will be seeing y double dash y dash so you have to understand that is d square y by dx square and dy by dx respectively okay so carefully so what will be the first step we are going to do so we have to assume that that d is equal to d by dx simple so what means what is the meaning of that so first we will write in this form See, y double dash can be written as what? As I said, d square y by dx square, okay, plus minus 6 into dy by dx plus 9 into y is equal to rest all whatever term is there. Now here, so here what you to understand is that this part here d by dx is nothing but d right capital d so y you have to keep it aside so it will be d square y minus 6 d plus 9 y so no change in that sorry d y will come so 9 y is equal to rest all term sitting on the rhs side so this whole question is how to find the solution that is most important right so how to find the solution the solution is given as yc plus yp what is the meaning of yc yc also written as what is cf complementary function yp can be written as what particular integral also or particular function so this all things you have to remember complementary function and particular function so these two things we have to find out yc how to find out complementary function we have already done questions based on this but still will be we have to find in this type of question so yc we will find out first so how to find yc we will see that Take the LHS side part which contains D function, right? That part equated to 0. Simple procedure. So, what you have to do? D square y minus 6 dy plus 9y is equal to 0. You have to substitute. Now, in this, what happens? Take D square minus 6d plus 9 and keep y outside because it is common. Now what you have to do here, we have to find the auxiliary equation, auxiliary equation for that to substitute in place of dm. So m square minus 6m plus 9 is equal to 0. So what you have to do, take this part inside the bracket whatever is there, wherever d is there, substitute there m. That is nothing but auxiliary equation. So in this auxiliary equation, we have to find the value of m. How to find c here? So middle term is minus 6, you can put it in the calculator and find out, otherwise uh, normal method, factorization. So while multiplying, I should get what, here 1 is there, I should get 9, right. So while multiplying, 1 into 9 is 9 and middle term is minus 6, so I can take minus 3 minus 3. So it will be 1m square minus 3m minus 3m plus 9 is equal to 0, since minus 3 into minus 3 is plus 9 and minus 3 minus 3 is nothing but minus 6 so satisfied take common so m common m minus 3 here also it should be m minus 3 so outside it should be minus 3 outside 
so from this common is m minus 3 common again one more m minus 3 is there equal to 0 so both are multiplication factors so i can write m minus 3 is equal to 0 and again one more factor is there m minus 3 is equal to 0 from this m value is plus 3 here also m value is plus 3 So I am getting the values as what plus 3 plus 3 that means equal real and equal roots I have got. So what will be yc? So we have to understand this fact that whenever you are writing real and equal roots suppose so this is important note. So suppose m value is nothing but alpha and alpha that means two equal roots we are getting okay real numbers we are writing. So what will be yc? yc or complementary function will be c1 plus c2 x whole bracket into e power alpha x this is the yc how to calculate yc so this make a note of it okay so yc in order to calculate yc this value we have to put so in place of alpha i have to just put what which value 3 c will be equal to c1 plus c2 x into e power what is the value here equal value is 3 x put bracket very important put bracket okay so this is nothing but yc value now we have to find yp value now we have not taken the rhs side that is the most important thing you need to observe here okay so rhs side we have not touched right so rhs side we will be taking care in yp particular function or particular integral now how to find this yp right now in order to find yp what you are going to do remember this one k into 1 by function of d into e power ax this should be the approach to find out yp now what is k see already we have discussed r is equal to e power ax right k into e power ax what is k k is nothing but the coefficient of e power x in other words you can understand that just you have to put all together e power x that's it so we'll understand that first so what is function of d see first we have to write the equation see here now this is our question right so on the rhs side also function is there lhs side also function is there now what is function of t function of t is nothing but this part this is nothing but function of t inside the bracket after taking y as common whatever is inside the bracket is nothing but function of t so how to substitute let us side to understand so y so yp value is equal to 1 divided by function is nothing but d square minus 6d plus 9 okay into the whole thing rhs side rhs side in the sense 6 e power 3x plus e power minus 2x plus 5 now we have to separately take right so each function we are going to separately take so carefully you have to understand here so i will take first this function so it will be 6 into 1 by d square minus 6d plus 9 into e power 3x plus e power 1 divided by d square minus 60 plus 9 into e power minus 2x plus 1 divided by or 5 is also there so i'll take 5 5 into 1 divided by d square minus 60 plus 9 into e power 0 x since since here the e power x value is not there so we are going to write it as what e power 0 x that's it that is only the difference now observe carefully what i have said earlier this is the form so we have written in that form only see k is nothing but what whatever is sitting beside coefficient of e power x so i have written here into 1 is there 1 is there function of d function of t this part right that function of d is there then e power ax e power ax is there okay plus second function again the same thing coefficient is one so no need to mention that one into so i have directly written one by function of d into e power ax five it does not have any e power zero x so five is nothing but k value you can write five into e power zero x that's why i have taken k as five okay here yes. into one by function of d into e power x that's it this thing you have to understand in place of d we are going to substitute this a value that means that tends to it's like a limit so what happens here let us try to understand so 
here a value is nothing but what 3 so what i am going to do three d value tends to what 3 so that means i have to directly put what 3 value in the in this part this part in the sense in this particular equation okay now next part if you see minus 2 is the so d i have to put the value as what minus 2 next thing. here 0 x is there so i have to put d value as what 0 okay so let us start putting that value so what happens so y p as it is 6 into 1 divided by 3 if i substitute what happens 3 square 3 square right 3 square is nothing but 9 minus 6 into 3 is 18 plus 9 into e power 3x as it is 9 and plus 9 is 18 18 minus 18 is nothing but 0 so this value is becoming 0 if this value is 0 this complete value will, will become what 0 so entire thing is gone but i don't want this entire thing to go so what i am going to do in order to save that thing i am going to differentiate and multiply with x very important step okay so we'll see the next function along with this one see what happens if i substitute minus 2 in this so 1 divided by minus 2 is minus 2 square is 4 minus 6 into minus 2 is plus 12 plus 9 then this part into e power minus 2x plus 5 into 1 divided by here if you substitute the value of 0 so the 0 square minus 0 plus 9 it is 9 e power 0x let us go for the next step so since as i said before this value is becoming 0 we are going to differentiate and multiply with x so you can write that step on the numerator part so how to differentiate which value we have to differentiate we have to differentiate this denominator part so how to differentiate carefully you see so yp is equal to 6 as it is i multiply with x denominator differentiate d square differentiation 2d minus d differentiation min minus 6d differentiation minus 6 plus 9 is 0 differentiation of constant is 0 into e power 3x okay plus now this value anyways it is not 0 so no need to do differentiation always remember very important note here this value is not becoming 0 see here 4 plus 12 plus 9 is how much 25 so 25 is not becoming it is not a 0 so whenever it, the denominator is becoming 0 then only we have to do this step differentiate and multiply by x if it is not becoming 0 then directly put the value so what is the value here e power minus 2x by 25 plus here also it is not becoming 0 so i can directly put 5 by 9 into e power 0x next what you have to do again the same thing what is a value 3 so i have to substitute here in place of d3 so 3 again what happens 6 minus 6 again it is becoming 0 so what happens if again it becomes 0 again you have to differentiate and multiply with what x So always remember this two part is done so this part this two part does not have d value itself right because we have already completed that procedure but in this d value is still remaining we are going to implement that thing okay. so yp is equal to 6 into again multiplication with x so it will become x square divided by differentiation of 2d is 2 minus 6 is 0 into e power 3x plus e power minus 2x by 25 plus 5 by 9 e power 0 x 2 1s are 2 3s are cancelled now we don't have any x uh, d value directly we can write the answer it is nothing but 3 x square e power 3 x plus e power minus 2 x by 25 plus 5 by 9 you can remove this e power my, uh, 0 x because if you want you can put because anyways it is you know, nothing but 1 okay so this will be the yp value after finding yp value we can directly write the solution the so solution will be so y value solution is equal to yc plus yp so yc value as we know it is c1 plus c2 x into e power 3x 
plus yc value yp value directly copy paste 3x square e power 3x plus e power minus 2x by 25 plus 5 by 9 this is the final answer